Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 3, Hands-On Science Experiment, which is number 74 in your Van Cleves Guide, and it's called Fingerprints, and it's on page 40 in your Van Cleves Guide. So this is a really fun one to get the kids, just to get them actively involved in, in the observation and in the experiment itself. So we're just observing our fingerprints. And so before we start, we'd like to go over our scientific method. So we sing our song, the scientific method is question, research, hypothesis, experiment, analysis, conclusion. And then um, we'll just be practicing that throughout the years. And I like to use um, Nicole Williams' science scripts. And you can find these on CC Connected. They're actually in the sandbox easing. Um, they're kind of in the middle of the document where it talks about science, but they've got her uh, science scripts in the sandbox, so you can find those there. Um, but she does a really good job of, of walking through the scientific method and walking through the experiment and some good questions to ask. So um, you can ask your students, what are fingerprints? And kind of get their thoughts on, okay, well, have you, know, have you ever observed your fingers and noticed there's kind of ridges and bumps on them, and why do we have that? Where do they come from? How are they made? And are everyone's the same? So that's what we're gonna be learning about today. So what you'll need for this experiment is some, some white paper and some tape and a pencil and a magnifying glass um, to observe. So each student can have their own piece of paper and pencil and you're just gonna take the pencil and rub, um, just color kind of a block of graphite on your paper just big enough for your finger to rub on. And then you're gonna take your finger and rub on that spot to get it all gray like that. And then you're gonna take a piece of clear tape big enough for to go over your finger. And you're just going to stick that over your finger and peel it off and you'll have a fingerprint on there. And you'll put that on your piece of paper. And then you've got a fingerprint with all these ridges on there. And you can have them make, do a piece of tape for each of their fingers and use their magnifying glass to observe and ask, okay, are all your fingerprints on your hand the same? Do they have the same type of shape in them? Um, are your fingerprints the same as your neighbor's fingerprints? And so we'll find out that they're different. And um, Nicole Liam has kind of a, just what some of the different types of fingerprints are. We have arch, loop, and whirl. And then I just Googled as well, just fingerprint patterns and classifications to find just a few more examples. I just found this document um, on the internet. But just talk about, okay, everyone's is, is different. Um, and talk about why, how they're made. And so um, there, we have different layers of the skin. And this middle layer called the dermis, that is where our fingerprints are formed. And so um, Napoleon's document says that when that, that middle layer of the skin grows faster than the other layers and so it kind of gets squished into these ridges and bumps and then the outer layer of skin just kind of covers it and it kind of forms over those ridges so I thought that was really interesting that is because the middle layer it grows faster and it, it gets squished and, and makes those patterns and everyone's is unique and another cool fact is we our fingerprints are formed before we're even born um, well, we're still in our mother's womb, so that's pretty interesting. And everyone's is unique, so it kind of points to God's amazing design for all of us and all the students, and just his thought, thoughtfulness, and just, he didn't make us all the same, and he, we all have our own unique traits and designs, and he created us that way. So that's just um, a really cool observation. And I looked up some, some fingerprint trivia just to kind of take up a little bit more time. This experiment kind of goes kind of fast. Um, but there's some fun facts about fingerprints out there that you can share uh, with your students. So 
because this experiment is pretty short, our campus is going to go ahead and do experiment number 75 in the bank, please, which is called tendon action. And so I'll just show you that one real quick um, if you guys end up doing it. But this in the bank, please, guide, it talks about using a chicken foot to talk about uh, tendons. And but we're not going to use a chicken foot. We're just going to do a modified version of that. So we're going to take some cardstock and I just traced my hand and cut it out. And then you'll need some yarn and some straws and some tape. So this is kind of what the, the completed one looks like. So you'll make a hand and then cut out five pieces of yarn. And then the first step is you will tape the pieces of yarn on the back of the hand. And then you'll take, I use five straws. So this is, I cut this about a half a straw and then I cut um, the pieces for your joints and taped them up. So once I taped the, the, the yarn on and I threaded the pieces of straw onto the yarn and taped them in place. So then when you pull the strings, you'll be able to see the fingers bend just like our hands. So it's, it's a really cool observation of how, uh, how our hands work and we have tendons inside of our hands and as our muscles contract and it moves those tendons that is how uh, we grip and can hold things so it's, it's kind of a, a neat observation just to have a better understanding of how God created and designed our hands and we use those tendons so um, that is about it for uh, CC cycle three, week three. Uh, another thing you talk about with the fingerprints is why, like what our sense, what senses do we use uh, with our fingers, our sense of touch. And, and so you can pull in some ideas like that. So have fun with this one. This is a really fun one to do with the students. And I will see you guys soon.